Hi students, welcome to Vedantu Neat English. I am Diksha Kaushal, your chemistry master teacher. So everyone, it's been uh, such a long time that uh, I was not there active on this channel, right? But so many requests from you guys made me think that okay, let's start a series for inorganic chemistry, right? Because so many of you are asking them that okay we are following you on other channel as well regarding your one shots that i'm taking on vedantu j english because j means and needs table the theory part is same right but what about inorganic chemistry ma'am block chemistry ma'am today only one student texted me about block chemistry ma'am i'm not able to understand ma'am i watched your previous sessions ma'am of ncrt line by line right so i thought of doing the same thing for you right in this year as well because i know the hardest part is block chemistry remembering everything it's very very tough and that is the reason right i'm going to make inorganic chemistry block chemistry simple for you even i missed you a lot even i was it's, it's such a happy news that uh, i am again you know uh, live on this channel i feel very happy about it right the connection that we have right that is like very strong bond and literally i have been like on instagram there are so many messages so many messages that i have uh, seen you know from the past two three months ma'am please ma'am teach us on vedantu neat english ma'am please ma'am please ma'am come back ma'am we will be we will join the sessions ma'am so all of these things you know made me feel like okay let's go let's do let's give you guys another chance but here i want to see your efforts as well so i'll be starting with inorganic chemistry block chemistry if i see you guys are like full on efforts you are also putting you are also joining the sessions live then i will continue to do that on this channel but if i see you guys are non serious right then guys this is again going to close right so that's your responsibility to be live in the class when i am live you should join the class whatever homework i am giving you do that the sessions are going to be long because your neat exam is very near right so at this point you should start putting full on efforts so starting with block chemistry the question is ma'am how to master block chemistry so in your neat syllabus guys you have you don't have s block you have dnf block and you have p block this is what you should master out of dnf block a lot of questions they are asking you at this point and p block right it's it's a very big chapter that's why students gets confused so the trick the secret of doing block chemistry there is only one secret anyone here in the chat box those who are my students they must answer me in the chat box there is only one secret to master inorganic chemistry no other book you need except for ncert that's it that, this is a book that you need for inorganic chemistry especially block chemistry right then another question is ma'am okay ma'am everyone says inorganic chemistry you should only study from uh, ncert but ma'am i have read the ncert 5 to 6 times still i am not able to understand things ma'am i have read it thoroughly i understand everything but ma'am questions are out of the syllabus ma'am they are not from ncert ma'am it was not written in ncert you know what is the problem first thing is you are just reading the lines you are not focusing on these kind of tables that are there right these tables now these uh, for example if they ask you question from density right the order of density it is not written in ncert right by line it is not written but they can ask you from this table they can ask you from these table what is maxima minima some exceptional thing that is hidden in the table they can ask you right so inorganic chemistry block chemistry it's actually you just need to understand it again and again and again and again but in the right way first important part is in the right way 
right ways understanding all these tables as well understanding the graphs the meaning of these graphs as well i think it's not visible to you but the meaning but okay what you have to i'm not teaching you these things i'm just explaining you that this all you have to understand the tables the graphs the hidden things that are there in between the lines okay in the ncrt in between the lines there can be question assertion reasoning questions right so that you have to think that okay this line is given what kind of question they can ask me from this line okay that is how you read ncrt for for inorganic chemistry right so you should be good in that right first thing as i told you is reading it the right way then making the questions out of that second thing third thing is once you have understood then make the questions out of that right then understand then do the previous year question not even a single question from block chemistry you will see outside ncrt yes okay so that's why i'm saying ncrt no other book is needed just ncrt is needed and i know that students find it very difficult the way they read ncrt and the way i read ncrt is totally different so that is why i am going to teach you ncrt line by line line by line means line by line okay ncrt line by line and i am going to teach you only two chapters in this case right i am promising only two chapters right which are most important one first chapter is dnf block right first chapter is dnf block which is most important if you're not reading it from ncrt you are already doing something wrong right then it is p block so these two chapters i promise you that i'll cover here right okay rest of it depends upon you right and let's see what is the response that you give to our ncrt line by line series right and i am going to start it uh, from uh, friday maybe friday and sunday let i'll tell you about the details of the lectures and each lecture is going to be 3 to 4 hours so accordingly i'll set the timing right maybe uh, you can also text me you can also write it down in the comment section what is the timing that you want like uh, 4 pm to 8 pm will be a good timing right what are the other things right you can have it from 3 pm to 7 pm is also a good timing right so accordingly we can adjust and uh, i'll see you all in the class right sessions are going to start around two lectures will be there for dnf block around four lectures will be there for p block okay rest of the things we'll see in the lectures right okay yes <laughs> much of that i'll tell you in the classes right okay yes organic chemistry division series with your class i have trust to crack neat yes dj tell you we will do that right we will do that but for that i need to see your response over here then i'll think about organic chemistry as well because if i am putting efforts i also need efforts from you guys if they, if you are also interested that ma'am after completing this ma'am let's start with organic chemistry revision i'll start with that okay but for that it's your efforts also that i need right if you are interested yes ma'am let's go for organic chemistry ma'am let's start revision we'll do that right okay yes 2 to 6 ma'am you can write down your timings in the uh, comment section because i also have other batch classes right uh, crash course classes so many things are going on so accordingly i'll have to see which timing is suiting me also but you can also text me your timing right ma'am maximum what i see okay this timing is maximum students are saying i'll i'll just go with that timing right okay yes Okay everybody now I'll take your leave I'll see you all in the classes DNF block is the first chapter that I'm going to pick right from NCERT line by line right so see you all bye bye take care and write down all your queries in the comment section regarding this series and what are the other things that you want me to do on this channel right okay thank you so much thank you okay then guys bye bye see you all bye bye take care bye bye